Hi, my name is Cooper White. My wife and I came into the Catholic Church in 2013. Before becoming Catholic, my wife and I helped run a Christian sports camp down in Branson, Missouri, where we had 10 or 12,000 campers every single summer, thousands of college staff from all across the country. And the message of the camp was an exciting adventure in Christian athletics. There at the camp, we tried to use sports in order to have an avenue into the lives of campers, which range from seven years old all the way up to 18 years old. Now sports have a very huge place in our culture and probably too much time is spent talking about it, thinking about it and everything else. But even with all that said, sports can be used to reach out to kids and to meet kids where they're at because kids care so much about sports, because people in our culture care so much about sports, Sports have really become an avenue where we can share the Christian faith through sports. And one of the ways that we can share the faith through sports is that really sports in our society are one of the few places where virtue is still really celebrated. It's one of the places where sacrifice for others is held up and honored as something good and noble and right and true. It's a place where you can spend months and months and months struggling with weightlifting, with running, with sweating, with bleeding, with tears, with everything that you can have, everything that's within you. Because for 10 games next season, you're going to be able to try and lay it all on the line. And really, in a lot of ways, if you think about sports, or at least if you think about them under their best possible guise, sports are really about building the virtue. It's about building habits. It's about doing things exceptionally well. It's about doing them over and over and over again so that you can become excellent at something so that when the time comes that your teammates can count on you. And really, that's very much like the Christian life. We spend our days, our weeks, and our months doing the practices that we know that we need to do even if today it doesn't feel like it's that important for me to get up and have my quiet time or it doesn't feel that important for me to go to daily mass or feel that important that uh, to, to spend the time in prayer or to read the works of the saints or to read scripture. But it's by doing these things, it's by doing these practices and doing them consistently and doing them over and over and over again that we begin to develop habits you know, Steph Curry didn't become an exceptional shooter overnight. He became an exceptional shooter because day in and day out for years, he got the ball before a basket and he shot and he shot and he shot and he shot. And even to this day, even though he's one of the best shooters who ever lived, he shoots so much that they have to replace the nets at his practice facility every couple weeks. And that's why he's such an exceptional player. And you see this with the athletes that are exceptional. Certainly they have talent. Certainly they have some God-given gifts. But what they have is they have massive work ethic and a desire for excellence and a willingness to do the little things while everybody else is taking shortcuts or maybe not working quite so hard. And it's the same thing that we see with the saints. Certainly God has touched them with grace and called and wooed their hearts to him but even in the midst of that grace, they are cooperating with that grace. They are walking with that grace and they're allowing it to transform them so that they can begin to develop spiritual habits. So when the time of temptation comes or when the trial comes, when it's hard to say yes to God, when it's hard to do the right thing, when it's time to step into deeper intimacy with God, they've prepared their hearts and they've deepened the avenues that grace can flow through in their lives. And it's through thinking about things like this that we can use sports to communicate to people the ways that God wants to move in their own lives. And we can make sense of the way that God works by using sports as an analogy, by connecting the way that sports works, the way that we develop physical habits with the way that we can develop spiritual habits. And we're able to connect and cross gaps and barriers and, and to use language that maybe people wouldn't otherwise understand. Except for sports gives us this analogy, this analogy that we can connect to faith 
And by doing that, we can connect to people. And not only that, but we can appeal to some of the habits that people have developed through sports. Because through sports, people have learned to sacrifice. Almost nowhere else in our society, in our culture right now, do we have a place where people are willing to sacrifice for a greater good. And it's this training that we get inside of sports that we can, that we can appeal to, that we can relate to, and that we can call sacrifice out of people because the Christian life, just like being great at anything in life, really does require sacrifice. So does it require sacrifice to become holy. The great author Leon Bloy once wrote that the only tragedy in life is not to become a saint. And I think by thinking about life through the, through the, um, through the lens of sports, through the lens of, of the, the sacrifice that it takes to become excellent in that, that we can hold up people like Steph Curry or LeBron James or uh, for those that are a bit older, Michael Jordan. And we can say, look at what they did. Day in and day out, they practiced so that they could become excellent. So they could become excellent. To become excellent at something that sure it got them a lot of fame and honor and glory. But how does that fame and honor and glory compare to the grace and to the calling that God has on our lives, to the, to the magnificent joy that he's calling us all to? And when you begin to consider the, the incredible call of grace that we are called to participate in the life of God, to become like God, to t- partake of his very life, to be conformed to his image, And when we begin to contemplate that and we think, wow, think about what these people have done to become excellent at something as silly as putting a ball through a basket. And sure, there are thousands of fans cheering. Sure, there's a lot of acclaim. There's a lot of money. But how much greater is the grace and mercy of God, the God who is the maker of all of these things, who's the maker of all honor and glory and and who would give gives us... uh, abundantly more than we could ever imagine. And so if they're willing to work so hard and to give so much and to sacrifice so much and to show up day after day after day after day to just get these earthly pleasures, how much more should we as Christians be willing to sacrifice and to show up every single day so that we can partake of the life of God so that we can open up our hearts to him and so that he can transform us and so that we can walk the pathway of the saints. And so sports, sure, they are probably take up too much of our time and too much of our culture is obsessed with them. But even still in the midst of that, they're a training ground for us or at least they can be a training ground for us and a way for us to communicate a language of the faith to those around us. And so that's one reason why I think sports are important and they're absolutely an important way that we can communicate to the faith to those around us.